unique can you bring to the table? Because that's going to help you to grow so much. If you're just trying to be the next Jake Paul, he's already done it. It's already successful. Don't have that mindset of like, oh, it's too late or someone else is already doing it. Like, of course, someone else is already doing it. And if you are trying to find something very specific on YouTube and it's not out there, create it yourself. Because we obviously like, YouTube has got so many videos. So if you found something that does not exist, you just hit like a landmine there, like run with it. If you're just getting started on YouTube and you've typed into the YouTube search bar, how to start on YouTube, how to make money on YouTube, how much does YouTube pay me? You've definitely come across Katherine Manning. She's one of the top YouTube educators right now with her own style of how she's creating content. And I'm excited because this is a two-part series we're doing with Katherine Manning. And today we're talking all about the YouTube algorithm, how to grow and how to make money on YouTube. My name is Heather Torres, and I'm the host of the Think Media Podcast, the number one podcast to help you grow your influence on YouTube and then turn that influence into a high impact and a high profit online business. And today we're getting into a two-part series. So if you missed the last episode, make sure to go back and listen to it. We talked all about how to pick your niche, uh, the mindsets to overcome, and how to do branding right on YouTube. So if you missed that, make sure to go back and listen to it. Well, if you're a Catherine fan like I am, you're gonna love this episode because she really dives into pieces of her story that she hasn't told before, what it really takes to become successful on YouTube and how to actually figure out this whole YouTube thing, the algorithm, how to make money, all of that is in today's episode. Let's jump into today's featured content and then we'll wrap it up after the content for some reflective questions and more. One of the things you're big on is teaching people learning the algorithm, understand how mm -hmm. YouTube works. You now have the results, you have the case studies, you a lot of times share your analytics, but would you, what advice would you have on that? Like early on, is it a priority to, to really learn YouTube and, and what have you learned about the U YouTube algorithm? Yeah, I would say from the beginning, for one, just start, okay? I, I've gotten so many comments in the past from people being like, I'm just trying to learn as much as possible before I get started. And I'm like, you need to get started and then learn as much as possible. Because I think you need to learn how, like, okay, what are you gonna create videos about? What topics do you actually like talking about? What's your editing going to be like? Like what's gonna be the style of your thumbnails? All of that stuff before you can really use the algorithm because if you are creating what I'm gonna call crappy videos, which all of our videos at the beginning are crap. I left mine up there, they're so bad. You can watch them, they're terrible. But if you are using the algorithm and you're trying to get those videos to go viral, I would honestly just use like the first two months as a learning curve of figuring out filming and editing and possibly thumbnails and all of that stuff before you really dive into, okay, how do I find keywords and where do I place keywords and all of that? Got it. And you got to just punch fear in the face, punch perfectionism in the face, press record. And you don't have the data until you've actually posted enough videos mm -hmm. to, to, uh, to learn. What is it? Um, what is your advice when it comes to developing that initial upload strategy, um, a schedule for your content? If you're encouraging somebody, knowing now what you knew then, um, how long it takes to in initially learn how to film, how to edit, um, you now do all that yourself, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. But you had to learn it all. So what? What? how was that process for you? Uh Okay, so I got started with a really shaky camera that did not have a flip out screen. I couldn't see myself. I didn't have like a connection to like put it on a monitor or something to see myself. So it was really bad. Like the quality of my videos was just absolutely terrible, but it was the camera that I had. I thought it was better than using my phone. Looking back, I would have just got started with my phone, especially the phones that are out now. The quality of the camera is so dang good. Like that's all you need. You don't need any fancy of really advanced equipment to get started. Obviously now I've got lights and I've got too many cameras. It's ridiculous. But as you grow and as you have more money to invest back in your channel, make sure that you're investing it back in your channel. But what was the question? What were we talking about? Yeah. Like, I mean, just, was it intimidating to start editing at oh, first? Yeah, editing. Did, were you slow at first? And did you, um, did you take any courses on it? Did you just, oh, what software did you start with? Do you use the same software today? Uh, I mean, yeah. how, cause that's, it's very intimidating. It's like, okay, new yeah. camera, 
um, you know, and you just, did you just dive in and what, was it smooth or was it kind of frustrating? Did you have to persevere or uh, what was your experience? Yeah. So I had an iPad pro. I didn't even have a computer cause I started YouTube as a side hustle. So I had a, I don't even know what kind of laptop it was, but it was not a Mac laptop for business use. So I couldn't use that for my YouTube channel because that was just for my full time job at the time. So I edited on my iPad and iMovie comes for free on any Apple device. So I got started with iMovie on my iPad and that was so challenging. Not as many features are available on the iPad, but at the same time, when I was just getting started, I did very minimal edits. Like all I did was cut out some of my ums or where I made mistakes. That was it. Like I didn't add any sound effects. I didn't add any music in the beginning. It was very, very rough. It wasn't until I got, I have like an iMac desktop computer that I was still using iMovie, but I became a bit more advanced. And I went from taking maybe 20 minutes to edit to two hours to edit. 